Hello everybody, my name is Kiribro, I'm back once again uh, with more Valkyria Chronicles. And we just finished up the prologue chapter, we're going to get into chapter 1, the defense of Rule. And we'll get a few more complicated levels this time around, hopefully. Obviously, we need some more story first. Seeing that old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. Goodbye, and take care. <laughs> Gotta sneak in the little anime smile after something serious. How's the packing coming along, Ys? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Ah, pregnant lady. Oh, <laughs> welcome back, Welkies! You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light jog won't hurt the little spud. <laughs> I should know. I've already had four of them. <laughs> Whoa! Hello there. Um, I is Welkin in? Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize. For before. Um, here. This is for you. Really? These are for me? I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, all right? Never heard of preserved bread before, but I love... I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. I love bread with a really rough crust, so I'd probably like it. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. What? Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh, well, I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously, Martha, enough with the Welkies already. <laughs> it's pretty pretty silly. That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? Yep. It was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. And who's that with him, there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. Wait a minute. But I thought the General was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. The General was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. Sorry, was that question too personal? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Aww. Yeah, I guess you were, huh? Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. So for anybody who's played uh, Fire Emblem before, I'm probably going to draw a lot of parallels to that because I'm way more familiar with Fire Emblem. 
but this do- this like way of doing their uh, lesser important cutscenes seems a lot like they do in there too. Like in Fire Emblem, you get like the portrait of two characters, and then you'll get the text coming up on the bottom. In this one, it has been entirely voice acted, but they still do this way of having them talk with a little bit of facial animation, but without having to do like entire cutscenes. So it seems like a nice uh, in-between measure. You get the portraits and you get their expressions. But something, the the one thing that bugs me about this... See you later, Isara. Safe travels. ...about this art style is that um, it's not really set to do the best of lip syncing. <laughs> Anime mouths just don't, don't really have lips. Wow, look at this. Brule's really becoming a ghost town. They've been leaving for a while. Just about everyone is evacuated by now. You can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The Town Watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm-hmm. So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you gonna join the army like your father? Hmm. I don't think that's for me. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Huh. A teacher? Yeah. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general. But it's just that I, I want to give back in my own way, my own way. You know what I mean? I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's deep in your own way. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? She looks confused. <laughs> no time for confusion. There's explosions. What was that? Oh shit! Believe it. The mill. Miss Melchior, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Shit. Sorry. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Welkin. Now move out. Stay low. All right. Into another battle. I'll explain the mission. So, the enemy's invaded the Windmill Plaza and has taken almost the entire area over. We'll deploy from the south. Hide behind sandbags. Our goal is to eliminate the enemy leader. There may be enemy units hiding behind buildings. And hidden enemies will not show okay, up from the begin. top. It's up to us to defend Brule. So that's where it becomes useful to run around and look around. Our target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Focus on taking down their captain. Breaking the chain of command <clears throat> should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away. Alright, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. Got a second? Right, another point. About damage. Set amount of the damage a unit is sustained is healed in each turn. If a unit is taking heavy damage, don't push them. Stay back, heal up. If a unit's HP goes to zero, they become critical. In this battle, you have no way of helping a unit in critical. So yeah. This game does have permadeath later on, but um, they go into critical mode first. So if you get to them, you can call a medic and save them. But we don't have any medics in this tiny town. To All go. we have is Rambo here. So. 
Sight lines. When unit sights an enemy in action mode, a sight line will appear over his or her head. That line connects the unit to the enemy, meaning the line points in the direction of their location. Use it as a guide when attacking or trying to position your units in a spot where they'll be safe from enemy attacks. So you need to make sure that you leave your guys in safe spots when the turn is over, too, so that when the enemy goes, like, they don't just get free pot shots. And when you're running around, you can get interception shots like that. Like, they'll, they'll wait for you when you're lining up your shot. Here, pressing the shoulder buttons while in target mode will automatically lock onto the next one in range. Use the guideline to see if they're blocking the shot. Units attacks will be blocked. When the crosshairs are on an enemy, the attacking unit weapon specifications appear at the top of the screen. Versus person shows damage against humans. Versus armor shows damage against tanks and armor. And the symbol will indicate the effectiveness against different type of targets. Uh, I think this was originally a PlayStation game, so they used those buttons as symbols. Circle is effective, triangle is only slight damage, and X means it's ineffective entirely. Area shows whether it will hit a broad area, or shots shows the amount fired in each attack turn. To kill is the number needed to connect. Of the five rounds fired, two must hit to defeat this enemy unit, in the example. That'd be like two headshots. Misses or hits to the other areas of the target are not taken into this account number. So, the two kill only counts, like, where your crosshair is pointing. If you point it at their body, it counts how many body shots. If you point it at their head, it counts how many head shots. This provides an estimate when selecting a target and can be used to line up headshots and critical attacks. Anyways, as I was saying, um, when you're actually lining up your shot, like, the enemies will stop and wait for you so you can take your perfect shot. But when you're running around trying to find a position, you're in danger, and if you dally around too long, you can and will die. So, let's knock him out. Yes! And... I got a little bit. Got a little bit left, so let's run up here next. Oh, see? There's another guy back there. But I gotta end the turn so that I'm not just getting pot-shotted. Let's use Alicia this time. And now nah, we'll use her tons. Ready I want to go. I want to keep being Rambo. So it's Oh. Oh, that's right. If he's behind sandbags, he's immune to headshots even if I'm standing right there. It's kind of annoying, so I have to go around. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit ridiculous, but I guess I'll take out your friend then. There we go. Yes. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. hide. Oh god damn it! There's one behind me too. All right, so let's hide on this side. End it. Now I need my buddy Alicia to my come turn, okay? save my skin from this asshole. When you take your shots, they get a counter shot, too, so... That was one of the tips. You gotta make sure you have enough HP to survive it. Anyways, I only had three rounds, so now it's their turn. And they have a lot more command points than I do. Oh, wow. Man, he sure does suck. I've never seen somebody do that before, like straight up duck and avoid all shots. See, Welkin didn't do it. <laughs> nice. Nice. So yeah, he, he fired on his counter turn, but then uh, he didn't kill him. And then when the enemy was trying to run away, I got more interception shots because he was just like out in the open. So I got to take him out with that. All right, so now... No, you know what? I'm sick of your shit. Leave me alone. All right, so let's keep looking around, see what else we've got up here. 
I think that's the enemy uh, leader right there. That's the guy we gotta kill. So, we'll crouch down, we'll end the turn. We'll get Rambo up here and see if he can to go. take him out for us. Enemy sighted. Leap over. Okay, hold up. Yeah, I know, there's definitely another guy over there. So, um... Now. It shouldn't matter, we don't need to go kill him. End it, end it before they can shoot me again. Because I should, I should only have to take out okay. this red guy to win. Now. All right, and he's dead. And we win! Huzzah! Uh, looks like the town guard isn't faring so well. What's that? Sounds like a tank. Yeah, tanks are definitely your big, um, your big bad in this game. <laughs> I wonder why they'd send a tank to such a tiny outskirts town like this. Oh god, they have more. Oh, son of a bitch. Don't do it, Alicia! You can't take it! Oh, damn it. Ah, well, you know what? That's okay. He's... he's expendable. The town watchman isn't as important as we are. We have the custom hairstyles. Hmm. I don't know if we can take that. Welkin, tank! That's not good. We're not equipped to take out a tank. See, he agrees with me. I hate to say it, but we should probably pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. And try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from that turret and it's over. Alright, so all we have to do this time is get Rambo to the escape point. To the extraction to point. Go. I don't think we get experience for killing these guys because they aren't, like, leaders. So, I'm just gonna kind of book it and try to get this level over with quickly. Done. <laughs> I realize it... Looks like we shook him. What are you doing from here? If they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the Town Watch can do. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin. Right, right. Okay, so I realize it seems a little silly just running through, like, six guys trying to shoot you down in the open. The only reason you can get away with it in this in that level is because you're only mission parameter is to get to the extraction point. If I had to last Chapter another two. turn, Escape from I would have been totally screwed because they would have all just descended on me. Uh, but anyways, like uh that is uh the end like uh of of chapter 1 of this game. Like uh I I really like like uh how everything uh is 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 sorted out like in into these chapters too like actual like literal chapters in a book like it really like helps give this idea like everything you're reading is from a journal or like an old newspaper like like you're going through the events of history it's really neat 
But anyways, um, that was the end of chapter one. So, yeah, this seems like another good place to leave this video off. I was going to jump into the next level and make this a long one, but Chapter 2 has a pretty decent-sized level in and of itself, so I'll probably just record another episode for that one. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button down below. Consider subscribing if you hadn't already. Uh, let me know if you like this series, or if you don't. You know, even if it's not for you, that's cool. Like I said in the beginning, I'm just kind of recording this one as I play it. It's very different from the other stuff I do because, you know, variety, varieties of spice of life and all that jazz. But um, I'll see all you guys in the next video when we'll start the escape from rule. Ta-ta. Wrong day to pull this. Really the wrong day to try and pull this shit. <sighs> Can I shred them yet?